All right, we are here with the final Operation Starfall battle. You have to come to Mesa Goza at nighttime to, in order to fight the leader of Team Star, the one, the only, Cassiopeia, who I am calling right now, straight prediction, it's gonna be the nerd girl from the beginning with the two different colored hair. I'm calling it right now, it's nerd girl. Director Clavel? Oh, come on, the name's Clive. Rem the name's Clive, baby, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring th this little performance to an end. End this charade. This facade. It's not a farce, it's a facade. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha ha! Oh my god, you're... You're old! Heh, <laughs> old man Jenkins. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel. No, no way! Yes, this might be quite the shock. My disguise was perfect after all. Oops, I accidentally double tapped that. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was. Oh shit! I didn't see that coming. Wait. That's impossible. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre recorded voice. I pulled it off using, er, you know, one of those high tech gizmos. Ah, <laughs> yes, it was very clever. So, now that you know I'm the big boss, that means that just uh, that means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. And I definitely have an eyelash in my eye. I should have I should have gotten it out first. Oh well. He has an Orangu. It's over, boys. I have a flying type leading off. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring, an op bring Operation Starfall to an end. Okay, do these guys scale or something? Because why are they all as strong as my strongest Pokemon? Uh, well, I'm dead here, so wave crash. Oh, come on. Wait, that has recoil on it? And now I'm drowsy! This should kill you. Take that, you psychic monkey. Shocking. Abyss Snow. Uh, I didn't bring any fire types, and I, for some reason I have Sligo on this damn team. Shit. Um. Well. We're dead. We're dead. Uh, uh, you go die. Why did I bring my Hound Doom? Why did I teach that damn Dragonite Fire Punch? I don't. I have the TM. Why did I just do it? Why, why am I so dumb? It started the snow. Shocking. All right. Um. Gonna wake in here. Yo, uh, Sluggo is pretty big. Blizzard, shocking. <laughs> One shot, <laughs> I'm shocked. Mm. Abyss Snow. I feel like I have. I feel like something else kills this guy. I, I just feel like something else could kill him. Also, it's freaking cold. Putting half my banner on, wearing it like a Roman, uh, like a Roman emperor. I'm gonna close combat him. I don't give a shit. It was, I was fighting. I was right. I mean, at the behest of my defense, but I mean both my defense sets. Um, Hound Doom. That's Fire Dark. Fire Dark, right? I forget. What am I look like? I'm playing Gen 2? Yeah, okay, yeah, this is good. Liquidation. Gyarados. F water flying? Do I have any ice attacks? No. 
No. Right, I'm just gonna kill him then. Yeah, does flying resist flying? Does wind does that does wind do that? Man, don't you do that to me. Man, nothing I have is good. Shit! This is not good. I did not realize that I was not gonna be too strong against him. Um I'll take one more fight. See what I can do here. Earthquake, you can one shot me? Nah, you're trash. Let's see. What's up, bro? Um Yep. Recording? Yep. Cool. Uh, oh, shit. Um uh, well, uh I think I can do this. I think I can put Shark Boy out. And then uh hope he doesn't hit me with that earth attack and yeah. I'm not really too sure what to do here. I feel like I lost. Oh no! <laughs> I see you don't even have two Dragonites yet. A hey, Squiddy. <laughs> Come on, no way he's faster than me. Oh well, I should have realized I was like in the end fight. Oh. My fish! Damn, bro, his fish beat my fish. Um, does poison lose to dark or to flying or something? I don't Duh. know. Probably. Feels like they do. All right, which Dragonite to sacrifice while I heal my my quack quack evil? The one that's a girl. <sighs> Every Pokemon in my lineup is a girl. Um, oh, this is good. I got I got an idea. Wait, Neptune! Oh, I've got a better idea. Oh wait, no, you're gonna die immediately. Forget that idea I just had. Is this the end of the game? Uh, this is the end of one of the three storylines. Oh no. Fire Emblem Pokemon? Yes. <laughs> With permadeath. There goes my Dragonair forever. I'm literally just gonna have to grind this out with low damage to low damage. So your Pokemon Samus? Yeah. I like how everyone knew it was something immediately. Dude, my flinch RNG right now is literally god tier though. Stop oh, never mind, I didn't fit. Oh, that did nothing. You're, you're pathetic. Come on. You can't give a boy. Oh, there we go. Get the flinch. Basically, like, getting the crit. Why are you still under level? I'm not under level. I think these guys scale. Oh. Because, like, I mean, everyone else is under level. Absolutely. But, you know, I'm doing the Joey. Oh. I'm doing the Joey starter move. Arriba. <laughs> a poltergeist. Um, I guess... Does poison be ghost? Is he ghost dark? I don't know. This is the, it's clearly a it's clearly a ghost though, right? Oh wait, is this the dog? If it's the candle dog, I should have left my water starter out. No, it's a teapot. Not close. Shit, I messed up, boys. Poison is terrible against this. Well, it was a good run. I'll use toxic and die. Nice. Oh, badly poisoned, not just poisoned. You can't burn me, I'm a frog! You burned me. Um, what do I do here? What? How you do? No, 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 no. no. Alright, how much did the poison do on him? Uh, not as much as, as I was hoping. Uh, okay, well, hyper potion here. And then I'll bring the duck back out. You guys can't call Michael an idiot. He doesn't have the matchup charts in front of him because he respects the game. Thank you. Okay. Okay, anybody can just have it in front of him and be like, oh, this beats that. Oh, how did you not know? Uh, meanwhile, I'm out here grinding like a real man. They, let's just a mash. I just throw random shit and then I win. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, all right, As, he's probably gonna do an attack when I switch him out. If he does Will of the Wisp, I'm fine with it. Shadow Ball? That ain't nothing. Nothing to me. Oh my God, it's something. Um, well, let's uh, pray that this one-shots him. 
No, how are you faster, man? I'm a sombling duck. Oh. Toughed it out so I wouldn't feel sad. Max friendship, boy. Oh, wait, I died. I, this, this attack has recoil. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, Dragon, I'm gi Dragon Air. I'm giving you the freest XP of all time right now. Literally, oh, they already. They, Pikachu, they the anime power in this game. Pikachu, get up! <laughs> I, I didn't realize I was gonna recoil and murder myself. Heh, <laughs> to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Yes, Director Clapple, you're clearly that. It's Meowth's Karanda! What the hell? This mouse is mad cool. They got knights from freaking Sega. Alright, well... Oh, I forgot I got my revival herbs. Maximum revival, guy. Is knights in Sonic Frontier? No. Knights is in Sonic Adventure 1. I feel like when you, you know gamble. We, <laughs> you can always find knights in some Sonic games. That's true, actually. Yeah, that is... Uh, I, I, I don't know where all the... Oh, he's terrestrializing. It's over for us. I wonder what form this awesome cat is gonna turn into. Please be fire. Shit! He turned into a plant! Oh shit! No, no, he stole the starter he was gonna give me! No, that wouldn't really be stealing. Oh <laughs> man. Oh, GG. Nah, nah, we're fine, we're fine. Right, I'm kind of curious. Does poison beat grass? That that doesn't make sense in my head. Is but this every sentence before you send out the Pokemon? I don't know what poison does. Does this beat that? Not like I have a choice. <laughs> oh wait, I have got I've got Sonic Wind. We win these. <laughs> Playtime is over. Wait, this cat is faster than me. This can't be. You just step back and that guy's walking around the battlefield. <laughs> what does this do? Oh no! This is a GG, fellas. This is a mother of G a crit and super effective? Come on, bruv. Why didn't I take Hound Doom? Okay, I have an idea. We pray that we get fast enough so we can kill this guy. Alright, revival herb. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter the revival or just regular revive because you're gonna one shot me no matter what I do. Okay, revive. Uh huh. Okay. Whoa! That guy's literally walking around the battlefield. Oh, he got disappeared. Disappeared! Okay, okay. And now we get another revive in! <laughs> Okay, and then we can revive this idiot for later, because clearly he can stand up to him. <sighs> okay. What do I do here? It's Lego! It's Lego! Hey, Sluggo, become Gudra and be useless in XYZ. There's an I. Not a U. Yeah, it's Sluggo, I thought. Sluggo! <laughs> Sluggo. All right, well, uh, praying for a miracle here. Let me go first! Shit, he does- Why are you using your best move on my best Pokemon? All right, maybe if I just delay this long enough, right? If I delay this long enough, he'll run out of PP. <laughs> <laughs> well. I feel like I'm just avoiding the inevitable right now. Feels like we're just avoiding the inevitable. Weak. I feel like I'm gonna die. I feel like it's over. I I I, I just I don't think I can win. If I had a Charizard, I'd win this shit easy. I, I'm just saying that right now. If I had Charizard, this shit would be over. Um. Epic. I mean, that only does 90. Oh, it's so doable! Okay, I can win this. I can win this. The run? What do I do? Well, who's the right Pokemon to revive for right, right now? Okay, I got it. It's you. 
It's you. It's huge. This is so doable. If if only I leveled up my toxic croak a little bit more. Is that like guaranteed critical or is it the game just is like, yo, you suck so bad, super effective critical? It's like three for three on doing that to me. This is it, boys. This is it! Sludge Bomb! No! This is the play. He survives. Oh, he did. Ah! Get, get wrecked, knights. You ain't nothing, Director Claddle. Now I own the school. That's not how it works. <laughs> Sludge Bob! <laughs> yeah. ah! He pulled the skull. It's <laughs> poison. How strong you have grown. Hey, uh... Here's your tuition. <laughs> Here's 13k. Don't let anyone know. Well, now. It seems Miss you... what? It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess. Oh, he's using the other definition of hazard. Cool. A, a guess to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare... Spar? Spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. Poet. Um, would it not be bear, B A R E? Not bear as in literally bear. Ursaringu! <laughs> However, Cassiopeia has settled on, on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine that any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win, even though our student council is literally champion level. But you, new student, will have to do it. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out as it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it chains me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia and take on a, the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Hey, it's, uh, Miss Time. A pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I've, I've come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself facing off against one of our students, no less, in the middle of the night! What were you thinking? Ah, oh, no, if you could see, it, it was rather a sad tale. You, did you not hear my poetry? Oh, spare me. Spare me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, a stunky's b, -b Behind? Ahem. Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I am counting on you. I knew- I didn't remember now. I forgot to change my outfit before this battle, so I'm gonna go change it in my hair. So, you'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once! And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake, your job is mine. Good gracious, no. Anything but that, I implore you. Alright, well, I think we need to heal. Oh, you healed my team! Okay, okay. I'm gonna change my outfit, and then, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm here. Nobody believes in me. I got past the director, and I got a Gudra, which means absolutely nothing. I did no grinding, so I didn't say because I gave up, and I know the only one who's going to win is the Gengar who's running the front desk. Oh, there's a lady there. <laughs> we are here to fight Cassiopeia. This is all part of the same video. I'd like to revisit a class. What the hell is this? Uh, what? Is this not the schoolyard? You're useless to me, lady. I sorry, I thought that I thought that Gengar would tell me where to go. Is the schoolyard back here? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Where do I want to go? There's a school store? Who'd have known? Biology lab, art room, home econ, 
staff director, schoolyard. All right, I'm calling it now. Nerd Eevee Backpack Girl is Cassiopeia. Calling it now. See? It was mad obvious the entire time. You met her in the beginning. The bullying on her, it was there. This character is lame. Thanks for coming, Snake. What? I couldn't tell with the exact same outfit you had on. Unlike me, who's in a new outfit. Heh, this might be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. Actually, my voice for her was this. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star Lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills, let me get a hold. I'm just going to speak normal. Uh, let me get a hold of, so you guys can, you know, as much uh, LP. So I decided to use that. My skills, let me get a hold of much LP. So I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. Ha, huh, joke's on you. I've never used any LP in this game, except for maybe one haircut. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. Uh, this is a female. <clears throat> and I had you battle the bosses on, on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. Even though they were bullying me in the beginning. I just can't roll, up, roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. It's the final countdown. I'm ready. And I guarantee you, it's gonna be easy. Easy money. Easy money. One, two, three, go. The letter of apology, Miss Time had e or I mean, preparations took longer than expe expectation. That voice. Are you Clive? <clears throat> Penny. So it was you after all. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I've got a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next. So I send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, oh, oh, okay, will do. It's not like I'm the director wearing a toupee. Then allow me to allow me to introduce myself. My name is the big boss of Team Star, Cassiopeia. No, Penny Cassiopeia. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Winner gets your backpack. Call it. I wonder her, if her theme's gonna be good, so I'm gonna put my headphones on. Send out your trash Pokemon. Hey, an Umbreon. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. This uh, song kind of sucks so far. That's one down. How many Pokemon do you have? About to send out a Jolteon. I'll stay. Damn cocky, are we? Oh shit, I thought close of combat was super effective. What? Jolteon's faster than my dancing duck? Well, that's on me. I thought, no matter what, I thought. You know, Jolteon died to that. Yeah, one shot to one Pokemon to get that cocky. Well, Gudra, go. Go die while I heal my duck. Oops. And the song's not that bad. The beginning of it was pretty trash, though. How many songs have you made? Too many. <sighs> That's not a very effective against the Goudinator. Um, what does this do? Uh, heavy rain powers up water attacks. That sounds pretty good. Oh wait, no, doesn't doesn't um doesn't Rain Dance make Thunder always hit? Because Thunder has like a seventy percent accuracy. I don't know. Um, you're dead anyway, Gudra, aren't you? Baby doll eyes! <clears throat> Dude, don't lower my attack. It's already low enough as it is. See? I did like a fifth. 
Hey, what well, you guys want to hear? Actually, yeah, no, never mind. I'll see you later. Smack the guy watching his YouTube video. <laughs> I can't believe Gujra's coming in clutch for for a final battle. I mean, it's what he does. I watched X Y Z. I'm dead here though. You're gone. Um, I need someone who's not gonna get killed immediately. I feel like Dragonair is gonna die immediately, but I'm protect so So wait, which one? Which Dragonair is this? Is this my physical attack one? It definitely is. Considering all of these attacks are physical. Uh, 75. Jeez, I'm, I'm risking it. That ain't doing nothing. Can't blow that sometimes. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> um, fish. <laughs> he's not. He's not water technically. <laughs> Real fish. No. Oh! <laughs> Um. How do it's my first battle? What's going on? Bro! <laughs> Alright, The tank! Alright, buddy. I just need you to, uh, punch him. Just punch him once. That's all I needed, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no! Alright, good. Get punched in the face, you jerk. About to send out a Flareon. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. I guess they only have Eevees. So this guy's a wannabe from Pokemon Legend Ar Arceus. I think it's Iris is the name. Or no, Erda. Erida? Irida? I think it's Irida, that's the name. Uh, also, you're gone. Sonic win! Playtime is over! You can see his method. <laughs> Leafeon? Go, Hound Dog! Dude, he has one of his moves is his Destiny Bond, so you basically if he dies, the other guy will die. And I'm like, that sounds broken as heck in Pokemon, you know? Alright, while I'm at it, I'm so confident, I'm gonna revive my Dragonair so they can get some XP off this. Is that the newest EV? Nah, Leafeon, Leafeon's been around. X scissors. Alright, am I faster? No! I mean, whatever. That's not me. X scissors. <laughs> Make sure I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know what? You could die, Frog Boy. Hopefully, you can get a poison jab in there. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm gonna revive. I'm gonna revive the dog. And I gotta use an actual herb on him. Here you go, dog. Ow, right in my whatever that is. Technically, it's the throat, but I, right in my privates. But I wonder. I mean, that's usually stored for a croak, so it's just very strange that I've had a croak in there indefinitely. Get, get bird to a crisp. Oh, baby doll. You fool, I'm doing a special attack. <laughs> Man, I do flamethrower from my neck. They couldn't animate it just to go out of his mouth. Watch. <laughs> get wrecked, you ugly evolution. Who's last? Probably, it probably, my guess is Sylveon's last. How do you know they only have four Pokemon? They have six from what I saw. Okay, Porygon. Um, they only went from three. Oh, they did? I, I, I haven't been... You one shot at Umbreon. You lost two Pokemon to... Jolteon. Jolteon. You one shot at Flareon. And then you just killed Grassy. There's two left. Yeah. I'm saying the last one's gotta be Sylveon. Let's wish that it was Espeon. 
I have Vaporeon. Water E Water. Like mono e mono, but you know. Um I'm gonna slash you with my air. That did nothing. So I'm gonna punch you. In the face. Damn it, you lowered my attack, you bastard. Timmy! Hydro Pump! That movie's so good. Even on water. Even on water, on water crime. Alright, F it, I have to. See who the last Eevee is. It's Sylveon, as predicted. Uh, wait, what is Fairy Loose to- Oh man, I need my damn freaking. Uh, I need my frog. Need my frog, man. Wait, Sylveon. Wait, does Psychic beat Fairy? I forgot. I, I'm the most anti Fairy guy out here. I'm a dragon trainer, you know? I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell out of your hands. Get a new hairdo. Sylveon. Bolt Breaker. Alright. For you, my frog of carrying. Carry me again after I this. Sorry, Polygonal Shark, but you're dead. Oh crap, I forgot they're gonna do that. Shine bright like a star right now. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Please still be fairy or whatever it is. Uh, I think that's fairy. It's a big giant heart with a wing, so it's gotta be. Pretty cute. I mean, uh, <laughs> lame. Uh, well, while this is going on, uh, I'll psychotically cut you. That's mediocre. Wait, does dark beat fairy? My VV power will crush you into stardust. What the hell? It's like Eevee, but backwards! Oh god, she's sending the moon! <laughs> What's that gonna do? Oh god! <laughs> Freaking Majora wannabe out here. Go, Toxic Frog. Oh yeah? Well, I bet you didn't see this one coming. Um, I'll go with this one. No! No! <laughs> you fool! I did a special attack this time! Oh. Well. I am stronger. Physically. Uh, this is it. Disappear! <laughs> I guess Toxic Frog is the best character for this, this set of the story because... Man, I stink. <laughs> and I caught this guy at the end. That's right. It's all over now. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to use my Cassiopeia voice. This girl had so much stake. And she's like, if I lose, everything I've worked for is done. Yeah. And you're just like, la la la. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally over, guys. It's done. Snake. Cassiopeia was my real voice. Not the weird nerdy one I gave myself. You <laughs> now that's my kind of guy. Which one? The cool looking one. Oh, he used to be the uh, student council president, but now he's just a DJ. Nice. Wait, no, was this guy the student? No, this guy was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're down here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be choking, man. We got carried away with Operation Star. Everything's got out of the hand. Um, yeah, well, that's what happens when you run up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard to make a show learning Mega Man's. This is my kind of girl, though. Um,. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, really did we declare our intentions to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was a bloody, bloodless victory, we assure you. You always got it. I, I, no mistakes on that one, it's too bloody. Yeah, uh, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. Yo, that guy's shoes are sick. They're like solid gold. 
But the bullies made a huge thing about what went down, and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There, there's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt must have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess at my end. Just leave it at me. Ah, uh, what are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot! Now that all the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Big boss. <clears throat> Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I'm only six foot seven. I need to go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us! What's his fine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. I'm five feet away. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Jana, arigato! <laughs> Do <Duolingo>. a <laughs> Thanks for everything, Prithee. And you too, Professor Academy Director Clive. I mean, Clive. <laughs> I'm glad I could see. I'm glad I could see this through to the end, baby. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check, mate. Why resort to operation like something Star Fall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? Ooh. I tried telling the boss that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. And why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I can never order them, even though the bosses would order grunts to guard the gates, so... So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did? I mean, they, they did. And that's why I knew I could use the force team to start this band. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them? Even leave the team? Yeah. Operation Starfall? Cassiopeia. Let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star, friends? There, my friends. I mean, my most greatest treasure! They all say that. I see. Splendid! It is now, some young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out, bruh. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me allow me to introduce myself. My name is What? Director Clavel? Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. My mind is blown! Your tiny mind is probably blown right now. Even though I kept trying to tell you on the phone. Uh, I needed a way to talk to Team Star in equal terms. So uh, students tend to do shy, can be blah, blah, teachers, uh huh, and then nobody figured that. What? Where do I even start? Feelings for the wig that big? <laughs> Everyone, why don't you come out? It's all of Team Star. What? Hey, little bit, 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 uh, cue the SpongeBob when he's got them. <laughs> oh, it's a cutscene, sorry. Alright, everyone's gonna hide. You're gonna wait for Penny to get her ass kicked by this rando who doesn't even know what they're doing here. Okay, and then we're gonna talk, and the rando's just gonna have to sit there and watch it all. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden counten <laughs> countenance a, a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. Uh, no, no, I'm pretty sure that one's a guy. Atticus is a guy? That's a guy's name, Atticus. Everyone is like weird, like in the middle ground here. Yeah. Literally, he just comes from a concert. No, a she's, kid's a, concert. she's a wrestler. She's a wrestler. You no, know, I don't know why she's not a luchador. We're in Spain, are we not? Are you? Yeah, that's why. That's why all the starters are Spanish. Samba, oh. like the sombrero guy, and knights. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how knights is Spanish, but. <laughs> South America? Or is it Spain? I mean, Les told me it was Spain. Oh. I guess that's incredible. I think it's through, like, through the windmills and, like, a lot of other, like, uh, things like that. Now then, Miss Penny, each of you young bosses as well. 
You're all expelled. Oh, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to take to say to Team Star. Congratulations, you all have... Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. You all got bullied, but then you guys became the bulliers. This was definitely the weaker of the stories so far of the three. I mean, the gym badge thing is the usual gym badge thing, but the do the, the Herba Mystica one was so much better. Is this the last one for you? Uh, no, there's a secret everyone. You have to kill, you have to beat the three stories, and then there's the real end of the game. Ah, uh, Sonic Heroes. Yeah, you have to fight Neo Metal, you know? <laughs> and then he's like, hey, I'm gonna go Super Sonic, and then he's like, nah, I'm just gonna go to a giant dinosaur. And I was like, that is technically perfect chaos. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things right. So I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Y'all can keep being Team Star. Does that mean what I think it does? It sure does, former class president. You guys can continue to exist. Yeah! Woohoo, Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But I betrayed you all. Uh huh. Sorry. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared us for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you wor worry, BB gun. Ha ha ha. We're all okay now. Uh, but even so. Brava, bravissima. Uh, as previously stated, it's actually bravissimo, I'm a guy. Uh, as previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled manners, uh, matters to discuss. I'm going to provide a few examples. You protracted truancy, you brazen customization of school unit, I mean, you're brazen, and your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? You flake. Your flagrant disregard for school rules can simp cannot simply be overlooked. One does not simply walk to Mordor. Um, thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Damn, that sucks, bro. Specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for Super Trade Communication. I mean, uh... Stupidly talking, talkative, uh, uh, countenance. Damn it, they use that word. Oh, star training centers. It should be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. Uh, I planned for the Academy to found a collaboration with the Pokemon League. Idea came to me when I watched me kick ass. Um, bases construction, uh huh, uh huh. STC. It's like an STD, but it's not. And uh, using your former bases, and that's the sum of it. Any concerns? Nah, sounds fun. Sounds like a win-win. Uh-huh. You should totally join. Tis true, we would be most happily have you on our side. And we could go to school together. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have Team Star and school in our lives. That sounds like a sweet deal. Thanks, bro. So what do you say? You guys suck. What do you think? Give it your best. No need to give your response right this moment. Do take some time to decide. For now, I at least think our little group should go their separate ways. Not to say you should break up, Team Star. I'm just meaning, like, get out of here. It's midnight. Technically, it's 4 a.m. for me, but... Uh, yo, stop at my office later. Alright, we're gonna go stop by the office. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go kill the Elite Four. Wait, why am I back in my dorm? Mm-hmm, the director's office. Oh, Director Clavel. Clavel? What up, homie? I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. I would have handled it like a real school director. You have my sincere gratitude. Double, triple knock. Who is it? It's uh, Pennywise. Oh, hi, all Uh, about the SDC side. I'd like to work with them with the rest of Team Star. Favorable. Because of Operation Starfall? No, it's the other thing. You know, the LPs I gave you both in exchange for helping? I totally got them illegally. I see. Quite the revelation. 
Now I have to put you in jail. <laughs> I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that hard. It won't do it again. That matter is rather out of my jurisdiction. I will consult Miss Gita, the most evil of them all. Mm, give you some privacy. Why'd you call me here then? Okay, great. That was awesome. I literally went there to be kicked out. Let me guess. Go back? Nope. It doesn't say to go back, so... Alright, we have to go kill the Elite Four now. Aya, Can I fly there? Nope. I guess I'll have to climb there. That rhymed. Alright. Well, that was the... Wait, wait. I can't call a flying taxi here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the director's office, and then we're gonna go back to the entrance hall. And I'm gonna see what's going down. And then, it's Elite Four time, and then we're done with the game. Uh, nobody's here. What do you want me to do? If you ever need help, wow, really? Thanks, bro. Entrance hall. Alright, we're gonna go back to our original cut for the end here. Well, technically, our majority of the game cut. Okay, I was wondering when we were going to get one more thing. There it is. Um, oops. I said uh, Cassiopeia. No, not anymore. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in the front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. I'm a coming, Cassiopeia. Again, don't call me that. Too bad. Ha ha. Woohoo. I've got to get a new notebook. What up, dude? Come on, give me that backpack. You have too many lines, Penny. Hasta la vista. Do the, do the, do the thing. The six, the, the six of us thought, yeah, okay. It's so cringy. It's perfect, you know? Nah, I'm more cringe. Mm. Um, anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league, but it looks like I got away with it. What happened? Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I did some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate. Can you believe that? Oh, darn. How, how unfortunate for you to get, get a job right out of school. Great. Uh, Director Clavel and the Gita lady kept complimenting me. Complimenting with an I, not, the, not an E. That complimenting with an E would be like a bun with a, you know, a hamburger. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. I don't care. Why are you bragging? I never seem to find the right words, but thank you. There you go. You've saved Team Star and my friends along with it. Cool. I know words won't ever be properly enough to thank you for all you've done, so here you go. Draco Meteor. This move is sick. This is actually a good ass thing. Did you steal it? Oops, I hit A too fast. But Draco Meteor is dope. What's going on here? Oh. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. Oh, I know. It's called, uh, Post game. I'm great with machines and hacking. Cool. Skedaddle. We seen ya. Hasta la V-Star. And she never did the motion. Waste of a Team Star member. Starfall Street! Complete! <sighs> that was very hard. I hope the Elite Four did not get scaled harder because I can't handle it. Alright, uh, we are on to the Elite Four. Last one. Let's do it. See you in the next video, though. Comment, like, share, subscribe. All you guys right now. Everybody.